Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife, find ScrappyWife.com. Let's do some faith play. Today, I am working in my horizontal style faith planner. Mine is from Plum Paper, and I'm going to use this set, Bright Hope from Illustrated Faith. This is by Mary Wangerin. It is gorgeous. It gives you all the mixed media feels without any of the mixed media mess, which is amazing. So I'm excited to use that. And then I think I'm going to mix in a few of these stickers from Vicki Booten. These gorgeous black and white stickers will match really nicely. So I will end up linking everything that I use down below. Otherwise, I'll put you all on fast forward. Let's go. I have enjoyed this plum paper planner this year. I've enjoyed the horizontal layout, but I will be switching planners and possibly layouts in 2024. I do have an 18 month faith planner in the big size that I could start in January of 2024 from the happy planner that is in more of a vertical layout. That might be what I switch to, or I might just go for a a horizontal layout happy planner just to change it up a bit, but we'll see. I don't like the top section of plum paper planner where you can't take out the little calendar. Um, so I'm just covering it up with an extra piece of paper because I plan to use all clear stickers. When I have printables that have a more mixed media look to them, I like to print them on clear sticker paper because I think it really melts into the page very nicely and looks like you did the mixed media yourself directly on your page. I am using Mako brand clear sticker paper and I specifically like this brand. It works with inkjet printers and you can write over the top of it, which is kind of key for me in my faith planner because I do write quite a bit on these pages. They end up with a lot of decor, but I do write over the top of some of that decor sometimes. This is for my daily note taking with Bible studies and things like that that I'm doing. So I do write over the top of it and I don't need like a special pen or anything to write over the top of this particular clear sticker paper. And I think it gives really vibrant colors. I just very much like this sticker paper and I've been using it for quite a while now. So I'm just covering up this section up here. There's all kinds of ways you could use a big empty block section in your faith planner. I choose to just focus on decor in this section and I'm trying to make sure that the mixed media feel goes all the way to the edges. Something I like to do most of the time when I'm decorating my planner spreads or my journaling spreads is fill it up to the edges. Instead of focusing on little clusters throughout the spread, I like it to run off the page. So often you'll see me doing something similar to this where I cut off a sticker that is hanging over the edge. And then the other bonus to that is that you can then repurpose that sticker which in this case allowed me to not have to print out a bunch of different versions of this page. I just had to print it out once and I had plenty of stickers to do this whole spread. The other thing I love about using clear sticker paper is the ability to layer different pieces. I loved all of these groupings of words and these phrases and I can layer them over the top of the colorful images in the back because they're printed on clear sticker paper. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to fill in some of the space right there, the butterfly, super cute. And then I wanna add these two phrases all about hope. What a fun theme to focus on for the week. Decorating my faith planner, I don't necessarily decorate this one to match with what I'm studying that particular week. I just decorate it with fun supplies that I have or fun supplies that I'm inspired by. And it makes me smile. Every Every morning. This is the first planner that I interact with every single day. And so it's wonderful to open it and have it be bright and happy and vibrant. It's a great way to start my day. Now, sometimes I really focus the attention in the top left and the bottom right. However, it was feeling very uneven, very much heavier on the left side. So I wanted to add a few more pieces here and there to fill out the entire spread. Again, I have these large pieces that are going to go where writing will be happening, but it's not a big deal because I can write over the top of it. I love, I just love these mixed media splotches. It just makes it easy to have that mixed media experience without having to get 
a bunch of different supplies to try out. Like if you're not sure about trying different paints or watercolor, or you're not sure how um, your paper might hold up to something like that, this allows you to have that same look without any of that stress. So we're going to add those two. And now is when I'm going to pull out these Vicki Booten uh, stickers. They are a thicker sticker. I think they actually do stand up to mixed media if if I'm guessing right, because Vicki Booten is all about mixed media. So I think you could color on these. I think you could probably watercolor on these, but I'm utilizing them because they're black and white, adding some places where I can do additional journaling, adding some black and white florals that will pop with all of the white on the page as well, and connecting these two areas. I love having stickers be the connection point. See how it's like going up towards that butterfly? Otherwise, the butterfly felt a bit disconnected from the colorful paint and splotch that was down below. We're going to add the word love right here, trying to get out that little bit of the E and then add a few more pieces here and there. Now, for a while I thought I would outline that word love in black, and I still might when I'm sitting there in the morning kind of thinking through some things. However, I think it does stand up really nicely against that yellow, even if it's in the all white. Now you probably notice that I have stickers that are overlapping the two pages. That's another thing I like to do, especially my faith planner, because that's an area where I will not be writing anyway. So it's a great area for me to add some decoration. And when you overlap the stickers between the two pages, you just simply have to cut the pages out, repunch the holes, and it creates a continuity. It brings the two pages together, feels like one big spread instead of two separate pages next to each other. I always like what that looks like. I wanted to punch up some of the days of the week right here in this plum paper planner something else that I'm not super pumped about is how they repeat weeks so for instance this particular week is the end of August beginning of September they have this week both in the August month and the September month and it changes the shading of the different days of the week as you're kind of approaching the change of the month um, and that might be really helpful for like business planning or journaling or some or some other type of planning for me I just need it to have the full week there and then to not repeat that week again all right that is going to be it I think I'm going to add one more sticker here and there just to kind of connect again I want to bring these two together and again hanging off the page repositioning it and getting the most I can out of all these stickers and then this faith planning spread will be done if you like this video please give it a thumbs up consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button I will link all of the supplies including this beautiful printable set down below so you can check that out in the description box and I also want to give a huge shout out to all of my patreon family we are actually spending the month of September focus on faith journaling. So if you've been wanting to try it out or dive deeper in your faith journaling, then be sure to check out Patreon this month. There is a link down in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative. <music>